Good morning, ladies and gentlemen. Welcome to the brand new podcast called Healing with Seb. My name is Seb Dinsmore. I will be your host. We may get a couple of guests on these episodes in the future. I do not know. But for now, today, you have me. And if you stop listening, that's going to hurt me deep down. Now, let's get into today's episode. Welcome back to the podcast, ladies and gentlemen. My name is Seb Dinsmore, as you know, and our podcast producer is my dear friend Angus McCoy. However, Angus won't be speaking on this podcast because he is not here. He is on my monitor, staying silent. Now, today we are going to be talking about healing, ladies and gentlemen. This podcast came about because I had a breakup. I had a breakup. My ex girlfriend Leo decided to leave our relationship. Now, that's okay. You're allowed to change your mind. You're allowed to leave. Nobody's holding you here. And if they are, you should be asking yourself what am I doing here? Leo had fallen out of love or she was a bit overwhelmed with everything going on in her life for us to be considered a big part moving forward. Which is okay, you're allowed to feel that way. So I began hurting for a wee bit, but that's alright, you're, you're supposed to grieve, you're supposed to heal and feel sad and feel all the emotions that you need to feel. Moving on can be hard, but I believe when you put your mind to it, anything is possible. And it might be a hard process for some people. I know it is for me. But you will get there in the end, my friends. With my first relationship with Olivia, when that ended after eight months, I was on the sofa not attending my lectures and watching Still Game and other comedy shows like The IT Crowd to mentally feel joy or happiness or laughter so I didn't cry. But it was only until later that week, that first week, I came downstairs, was in the kitchen about to make some dinner, and I just, I just cried. Not noticing that my housemate was outside having a fag break from the house, I ran into the living room because, not that I'm ashamed of crying, I think men should cry. Get it out. There's so much stigma about men crying. But, my housemate Carlotta, Carlotta Delanoi, she, she comforted me. She came inside, stopped having a smoke, came in and sort of tried to help me heal. Convinced me that I'm a great guy and whatever happened, happened for a reason. Now... If you watch this, I hope you, or listen to this, I hope you are a, not a fan, but a friend, and you've been watching my series, Journey. Series 1 was all about depression and suicide and all the deep stuff. 
series two recently, which we're on at the moment, has been about faith. And my faith in God finally kicked in again and said, God has a plan for you. Whether you are with someone or single, he has a plan. And it might have been his plan to make me single at that time. Then two years pass, I get a year's relationship. And it might have been his plan to put that on hold as well. Ladies and gentlemen, this podcast is here to help you heal. (laughs) This podcast is called Healing with Seb, after all. This podcast came about because of my breakup, as I mentioned. And I was going through my fields, I was going through my hard times, and I decided, you know what? There should be a podcast for this. And there might already be podcasts for healing broken hearts and stuff like that. But this is healing your soul. Healing your inner child. All of the above. And each week we will focus on a new topic to heal. This is just the introduction. However, next week we might talk about love and relationship. The week after, we might be talking about healing your inner child. The week after, we might be talking about healing with faith or without faith. This is all about healing. My plan is for these podcasts to last roughly 10 minutes. I'll spend eight to nine minutes talking about whatever topic we are on and then the final minute will be a nice little reflection with a quote and then we'll end our podcast there. Today this is our first podcast so it may fall slightly short. We're on seven and a half minutes at this point. I don't know. So, ladies and gentlemen, recently, for the next couple of minutes, I'll be talking about a situation that's been going on with some friends of mine. I've had a couple of friends post publicly about their pain and self-harm. Please do not self-harm. I understand where people are coming from. I get it. I do. I've been in your situation. Although I have never self-harmed. I have been in pain. I have lost people. I have... I have had some hard moments. Some low moments, my friends. Please don't hurt yourselves. I know the mentality is that you're mentally hurting and you want to you wanna relieve that pain so you self-harm so the physical pain takes away from that mental pain. But that's not how it should be. You need to find out a different way of healing. Talk to your friends, please. Please talk to your friends. Talk to someone. Talk to a family member. Please. Don't keep it bottled up and hurt yourself. My mentality is, I'm already hurting. Why would I hurt myself more? Whereas your mentality is, you're hurting so much, you need something to alleviate that mental pain so you hurt yourself physically. Please don't. Seek help. Talk to a therapist. Talk to a friend. If you do not have the money to go to a therapist, if you do not want to talk to a therapist, talk to a friend or family member. And if a family member is too close to home for you, like it is for me, talk to a friend. 
please don't hurt yourselves just especially when you post about it it makes your friends hurt we're all going through shit I get it but you're not alone you're not alone and you have friends you have me <laughs> you do you have me go to my social media at Seb Dinsmore is my private account on Instagram is my account on snapchat or go to my acting page at Bash Dinsmore and hey if if you don't want to talk Go and watch Journey. I know I'm plugging my own show here, but Journey is a passion project for me and it's helped me in ways that I know speaking never could. Go and watch Journey. Go talk to a friend. And what's that saying? What happens when people open their hearts? They get better. I'm going to end it here, ladies and gentlemen. I have been your host, Seb Dinsmore. I will see you all again soon. This episode of Healing with Seb was written and hosted by Seb Dinsmore. This episode was directed and produced by Angus McCoy.